Here's a mystery for you. What you see here is a little orange plastic ball floating in the air. There are no strings holding it from above and only air supporting it from below. I'm holding a shop back in my right hand and blowing air up at the little orange plastic ball. So there's an upward force from the velocity pressure or dynamic pressure supporting it. The height that the ball gets depends on its weight. There's a golf ball, which doesn't go as high, but still floats. Back to the orange ball now, you see it floats a little bit higher. And if we go to something even lighter, ping pong ball it floats so high that it's out of the image until I lower my hand enough so that we can see it. There it is. So the mystery here, though, is what's going on with this ball? Why is it staying there? Why is it hovering? Why doesn't it fly off to the left or the right? The answer comes from a guy named Daniel Bernoulli a few hundred years ago, actually. Bernoulli's principle says that the air pressure depends on how fast the air is moving. And in the column of moving air, we have low static pressure. In the still air surrounding that column of moving air, we have a high static pressure, or higher than what's in the column, in the moving air. So that means that the static pressure is pushing up and to the left, the dynamic pressure is pushing up and to the right, gravity's pulling down, the ball is in balance. And as we see here, the ball can just hover there in midair, stuck in that column until we lean over too far and the ball falls out. So this is an interesting concept and pressure is something that even as a physicist I didn't really understand until I became involved in the home energy rating industry and, and started digging deeper into this. You can do this demonstration with this simple equipment that you see there or you can do it the old-fashioned way. Thank you.